Hello, friends of art and creativity and artistic things. Uh, welcome to my place of art on YouTube. Uh, I'm Alex. And today, in this video, we'll be looking at some Marvel comic book characters that I have colored. Other artists did the line art, and I just did colors. Last video, I did a time lapse of me coloring an Alpha Flight line art, and uh, that went well. So, uh, which roll with that again uh, this right here on the screen is my deviant art page for anyone unfamiliar deviant art is like a social media for artists you just post a picture and other artists talk to you about it and people connect through artwork this is my first picture of this goblin here from uh, December 2012 the date said so like yeah 11 12 years uh, down below my picture is uh, some, uh, down below me talking here is some uh, magic fingers making music. Those are my fingers. I'm not uh, making the music live, obviously, uh, because that would make me some kind of crazy savant genius to be able to talk and generate this music. But in the past, uh, I made this music that's happening down below me. Uh, let's get to the art, shall we? Uh, this here is a picture of Power Pack, uh, and it is the line art is done by Mike Waringo, who was an artist who actually worked for comic book companies, Marvel, DC, uh, other independents, and uh, had his very own Deviant Art account where he posted his own artwork. Um, I thought that was awesome, and when I saw this picture of Power Pack, I was like, yes, I will definitely, absolutely grab that and color that. Uh, Power Pack was always a favorite of mine. I used to read it to the kids. I used to babysit way back in the days when Power Pack was in its first run. Um, I remember coloring this image and doing things like putting the uh, background, like the background is a photograph of clouds that I just reduced the contrast and put some colors and put a color gradient and I remember doing things like these little details around the fists where there are uh, powers activate and sort of shows you powers in progress. This next one right here is the Fantastic Four. I was never a huge fan of the Fantastic Four until somebody turned me on to the John Byrne run of Fantastic Four, which reads like just a science fiction novel or something. It's it's a really, really well done episodic series that just sort of that's it's wonderful. Highly recommend it. Uh, but yes, this is uh, a line art that was done by a deviant art person going by the username of Shadow Linkser, who uh, signs their artwork as simply Chuck. So uh, I saw this and uh, was inspired to do the colors on it. I really wanted to do things like this invisibility circle effect around Susan's uh, you know, powers and try things like this uh, brush texture that I used on the thing. I was really happy with how the thing turned out. Let's go next to this image of Storm, which is one of my personal favorite things that I have colored ever. Uh, I am just so in love with like the color blend that happens with like the lightning highlights on her skin. It's just, um, I don't know, uh, it's just sort of does some tickles a fun part of my brain. Uh, the artist on this is a uh, deviant artist who went by the name of uh, Delexis St. Pierre. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Who has some fantastic artwork posted. Uh, stopped posting in 2016. But before, up until then, had some really, really awesome art, including this awesome picture of Storm in the, like, Storm at some point when I was reading the comic books uh, 
adopted that mohawk and it just sort of just changed our world. We were like, what? That is possible? Anyway, moving on to the next. Uh, this here is a picture of Rogue that I colored. Line artist on this is Fred Benes. Uh, was one of the Bennis brothers. I don't know a ton about them, but Ed and Fred Bennis have a lot of artwork out there on the internet, including Fred Bennis had his uh, Deviant art page where he posted the uh, pencils to this Rogue, always one of my favorite X-Men. And this picture just looked lovely and I couldn't wait to color it. Uh, I really enjoyed how it came out. There is no inker on this one because uh, all that I found was raw pencils. But if you take raw pencils and you boost the contrast enough, they're inked. But yeah, I always dug Rogue and really dug how this turned out. It has uh, been an enduringly popular image of mine that I colored. People still visited and favorited and all that kind of good stuff. Back then, I didn't have any kind of way to make uh, time lapses of the coloring process, or if I did, I didn't know about it, so uh, all these were just done for fun, uh, not so much for videos, uh, but that's how art should be anyway. Just, just do it for fun! Just go do some art! Uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Very much appreciate it. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, you could uh, hit the like button, that helps out a lot. Um, you can subscribe if you like me and art and stuff. And if you uh, are looking to chat art, uh, DeviantArt is still a website that still exists and you can create your own account. You don't even have to do your own art, you could just talk to other artists about their art. And if you like talking art, you could also always uh, join us at the Discord, uh, which is linked down below. I'm always looking for artists and art collaborators of all disciplines, not just even visual arts, but just all the, just get all the artists together and let's make stuff together. Love it. Uh, that's it for me. I will uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Peace and love to you. I'm out.